Hi, this is Magnar and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. Uh, I had a request to create a video to show how to recolor armor uh, using Photoshop. So that's what we'll be doing in this episode. I won't be adding it to the unit because you can look at the other uh, tutorial uh, episode where I add the armor. You can do exactly the same as in there, so there's no point doing the same thing twice. So let's get straight into it. So I've gone now here. This is the tutorial folder we, we're working with. Uh, I went to the vanilla where I've extracted all the vanilla folder files. Variant meshes, variant models, man, armor, and then text where all the textures for armor are. And I've opened up this one here, the cataphract scale armor. And as you can see, there it is. Now there is a number of ways you want you can edit the color of armor, but just as a quick, simple way of changing it, uh, I'll just show you right now. So I select this tool up here and I just select an area obviously I usually wouldn't uh, create a star in the middle of the armor's chest I'd probably usually go around the edges here to select all the, the parts of the armor that I want to recolor. Anyway, so now then I'll create um, a hue saturation, why not? And it creates the mask automatically for the area we want to edit. And then we can, oops, sorry, let's click on that. Oh, it's changing. Uh, what we can do instead of that is we can also just get a layer and get rid of this hue saturation thing. And we can add. Uh, just a color on top of it. Let's say. Ah, in going with the other one, let's go with bright pink again. Bright pink, but we don't want to have a bright pink like that. Let's uh, change the opacity. There you go. You can change, we'll screw around with how you want it to look, and there you got a pink star in the middle of the armor. Alternatively, you could go around the entire armor, like so. Just the parts that you want to edit, so the metal part, for instance. And we can do something a bit more appropriate, like make it, making it kind of a bronzy color as opposed to pink. I'll just do this section here. Um, so we can, we've selected that, let's create a new layer. Add a mask, and there we go. Mask down here, and then click on the layer, and we'll make it a kind of a bronzy color. Right, let's screw around with the opacity. All right, we can do that, or we can do change uh, selected color. It's another one we can do. Let's get rid of this. And we can select the. Yeah. And we can just change it here. See how they all kind of change, keeping the shadow and everything. Now there's different ways you can do it. And you can, I'll let you play around with. This is just a simple way you can do it, and uh, depending on what color you want to have, play around with that. Alright, make it red or whatever, and then add another. Saturation color. Uh, we want a mask. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's how you create different um, colored armor. So then you just save it off, uh, of course, in the correct format. File, save as. And then we'll go to uh, our whip folder, make sure you save it there. Armor, text, tutorial. Cataphract. Okay, and we'll save it as DDS. Yep. 
and then we go to DXT1 with alpha saved and that's uh, yeah I don't, I don't need that that's all there is to it and then you can just add it to the game add to the unit uh, variant mesh definition and hex edit the model and then you can see it in game all right thanks for watching I'll catch you next time